I love Skull the Giant. It's an action-packed collect-a-thon game released in 2012 that utilizes toys to life figures. So I decided to do the worst thing possible, attempt to complete it in 24 hours. Now you think since this is my first time doing a challenge like this, you'd say, hey, let's make a game plan, let's come prepared. But mama didn't raise no bit. So yes, I went into this unprepared, the only thing by my side was my Skylanders muscle memory. So before we get into it, what exactly does 100% Skylanders entail? Each level has 3 pages of objectives. The first page is simple, just finish the level as you would. The second page has a speedrun timer meaning we'll have to do a speedy playthrough of each level. An enemy goal, meaning you have to kill as many enemies as the level demands. All areas found, which means you find everywhere in the level, and no lives lost. Even if I achieve all of these, the timer challenge means I still have to do it at least twice. And the final page. This contains all the collectibles you're able to find, but I'll explain it as they come up during the first level, so you have a visual for what everything is. With that all out of the way, let's start on how I 100% the Skylanders into 24 hours. Greetings, Portal Master. I am Eon, and I have come to guide you on a great journey. Welcome to Skyland. A magical world of wonder and adventure, protected by the greatest heroes ever known, the Skylanders. After hearing Eon yap on, we get dropped into our first level, the Time of the Giants, to see how big and mean Robot Men used to be. After walking for a bit, I pushed a massive turtle and gained our first collectible, the chest. Four of these will be scattered around the stage, containing gold for us to spend as we please. Moving along, I enter a cave and see a soul gem. Soul gems are collectibles that allow Skylanders to unlock their secret ability. After that, I walk down and find a story scroll. These scrolls contain lore on Skylands. After finding an a pit of enemies, I go up and unlock an elemental gate. Every Skylander has a corresponding element they represent. Trigger happy is tech, stealth health is life, and so on. Inside was a hat. Hats are just something Skylanders can wear, but they go towards level completion. And that brings us to the end. But there's a lot I missed, so let's go back in. I start off by breaking this gate and getting a winged sapphire. These act as permanent discounts for the upgrade shop. I go through the level and find the second and third chest I missed. After falling down in the enemy pit again, I do it three times which unlocks the secret Lugotron wheel. This acts as a permanent buff for either attack, defense, gold, or XP, whichever you prefer. Later on in the stage, I break these barrels to reveal a legendary treasure. These are items that go towards customizing the main hub. And that's all collectibles found, so I redo the level in a speedy fashion and 100% it. And now that I've explained what everything is, we can run through the stage a bit more faster now. We then begin the second level, Junkyard Isles. We meet the voluptuous Captain Flynn. Captain Flynn wants to get parts for a ship, so we go off. After entering the level, we find the secret drop and find our first chest. Then we move on to finding this chain. These are called feats of strength, and the only giant Skylanders were able to do it. So we complete it and get our second chest. Later on, we enter a house to find a legendary treasure. And after doing a second feat of strength, we find a new chest. We move on to finding a cave with a gate in it. Inside was the final chest and a hat. Then finding another gate with another hat inside of it. Leaving the cave, we find a soul gem and a winged sapphire. Lastly, we hop into a cannon and fire at one of the houses, revealing a hidden Lucotron wheel. Which brings us to the end of the stage, and surprisingly, I got everything bar the speedrun task done. So I went back in and quickly completed it, leaving us at two levels 100%. Flynn drops us off at our third level, Rumble Town, where our main objective is to save Jack Manifold. Off the bat, we see a statue we can move to the left, and then the top part to the right, leading us to a Lucatron wheel. Later on, we find an elemental gate, which gives us our first hat, and then find the secret cave entrance once again. 
leading us to our first chest. After finding a story scroll, a winged sapphire, and a hat, we head over to a mosh pit of monsters. After the bad guy tells us he's keeping Jack Manifold in a cell, we head to a house to find another chest. Leaving the building, we play the level until we come across a legendary treasure. After falling off a bridge, we find a soul gem and two more chests. And then we end the level by finding hordes of enemies and freeing Jack Manifold. And I was surprised to see I'd done everything bar the speedrun once more. They call me the Portal Master for a reason. After a quick speedrun, we had 100% at three levels. With the objective of finding someone to repair our ship, we move on to level 4, Cutthroat Carnival. Off the bat, we find a hidden door with a chest inside, and not long after we find a little house that has another. Moving on, we end up playing the most peak minigame known to man, Sky Stones, and finding a story scroll because of it. Later on in the level, we come across a soul gem, soon to be followed by a winged sapphire and a hat. Next we pulled in a ship, a board was a chest, and a cannon that was used to move the story along. After the cannon blew up the gate, we headed through to find a Locatron wheel behind one of the cells. Headed on into the town area, we find both a chest and a hat behind an elemental gate. Inside the town, we find a legendary treasure, and ending off the level with another peak game. And I'm much better at Skylanders than I give myself credit for, because we ended off with everything except the speedrun once more. After a quick run, we're now at 4 levels 100%ed. Between levels, I decided to play some challenges. These allow you to unlock charms that act as permanent stat boosts for your Skylanders. The challenges are just combat focused, so there's not much point in going over them, but just know between some levels I was at it. Also, while we're at a middle ground, I'd like to ask you to consider subscribing, or watch at least one of my other Skylander videos. Thank you. Now back to it. We're now at Glacier Gully to retrieve a giant robot. Off the bat, we turn right to see an elemental gate, which gives us a hat, and then... My re my recording stopped. I don't know what happened in this time, but we pick back up later inside the elemental gate. Yes, this is when I realized I wasn't recording. After being ambushed by some Skylander lookalikes, we get another hat. Returning to the snowy plains, I do a short puzzle and find the chest, and then another right after. And beside that second chest was a winged sapphire. After that, my luck with finding collectibles ran out, so on to the rerun. First, I realized you needed to throw a bomb at the start. Then, I headed over and got the Lucatron wheel. With the bomb knowledge in mind, later on at the level, I exploded another pillar to get the legendary treasure. And looking at the finished list, there's definitely a lot I missed when not recording. But I promise you that's a one and done deal. I was extra careful to record in the future. Regardless, I went back in for a speedrun and moved on, leaving this level 100% complete. Our next level takes place inside the robot we just saved, separated into mech and level sections. After being dropped off, we see a point where a giant can jump off a cliff and slam through the floor, giving us our first chest. And after leaving the cave, we are met with another chest. After another mech section, I'm dropped off by a feat of strength, which brings us another chest. Later on in this section, we are met with the locked gate, which when unlocked, gives us this level's soul gem. After the final mech section, we're dropped off and I immediately see the legendary treasure. After finding a hidden teleport pad, we claim it. Not long after, we come across a gate. Inside, a winged sapphire, chest, and hat. After getting the saddest scene in gaming history, the heartbreak continues as I realize I missed a single hat. So after that, I speeded through the level and 100% completed it. Now we're on to the Willikin Village to learn where chaos is. This level features a coming back to life sort of gimmick, so you can switch between two worlds, the dead and the alive. After doing this the first time, we head back to the start and get a winged sapphire. After finding some goon in the main village, I entered a house to obtain a chest. Not long after, an elemental gate popped up, and we got a hat. Walking across a bridge, we turn to find the scroll just chilling. After rolling a big bomb, we make it up a hill, and find a hole that leads to another chest. And another secret item being the Lucatron wheel. Later on in the level, we go down an elevator only to find a not so hidden chest. In the same section, I managed to get myself on this stack of boxes, leading us to a legendary treasure. A little later on, we find a feat of strength. Once true, we come across a soul gem, one that was teased near the start of the level, I may add. Then, after fighting the most goated, no, not him, the most goated villain in Skylanders history, we are missing a single hat. How has this happened a second time? Regardless of bad luck, I go in for the hat in the speedrun, leaving it 100% completed. 
The Willikins told us to go to the Troll Tower to disable Chaos's defenses, so that's where we are. Joined by the voluptuous Captain Flynn, we immediately head into the house which brings us our first hat. Moving along, we find a secret platform which houses a winged sapphire, and then we jump into a chimney to find the Luckatron wheel. A while later, we find the drop points, bringing us to two secret cave entrances, one containing a story scroll, the other a chest. And after leaving the cave, I headed over to a feat of strength I saw earlier, getting another chest. After Playing some more, I came across a water gate and yielded a legendary treasure, a hat, and a chest. Later on, after scaling a tower, I removed the statue to find a soul gem on a hidden path. After that, I went the rest without any hidden items and I- Who at Activision is gunning for me? After yet again going in for a single item, then speedrunning, I left fully completed. But before we go into the next level, I was goofing around, and this happened. Hello. It is currently 4.40am. I have played this game for possibly like a hundred hours throughout my life. And I've never been down here. I had no clue this was a thing. I'm just, I'm baffled. You can buy a hat? What? <laughs> I am flabbergasted right now. Now listen, I'm not joking when I say I've probably played this game for around 100 hours. The amount of time I've put into this game as a kid is concerning. And now knowing for all these years you could jump off and land there is just embarrassing. Anyways, let's move on. Now after taking down his defense system, we head into Chaos's castle. After fighting and doing a small puzzle, we break in and go through a tech gate, bringing us to a winged sapphire. Going through Chaos's dungeon, we find a cliff that a giant can jump off, bringing us to a hat. We exit the dungeon and get another hat, another chest. A little later on, we find a secret door that leads to a story scroll and the soul gem. After entering Chaos's castle and examining fine art, we find a legendary treasure. We find another chest behind a feat of strength. Then ending off the level in Chaos's arena. And this isn't funny! So after going back in for the Luckatron wheel and a speedrun, we move on. The next stage sees us getting ambushed by Sky Pirates. Let's get into the aerial attack. After defending our ship for a while, we get onto the enemy airship, which gives us a chest. Hello, future editor here. I am just talking about here how I found the chest. And if you look to where my mouse is right here, that chest is right there, and Stealth Elf is going to go get it in there. But, if I pull this up here, just so you can see it better, and play. Look at the chest right now. Gone. <laughs> just, it just disappears. Which is not good, because Aaron is now going to transition into how I lost my footage for this. Oh no. Then an entrance to an elemental gate. Inside said gate was a couple more items which I don't have footage of. At the time, my power went out, so there wasn't much I could do. And since Skylanders automatically saves any items you get, I went back in and I had already gotten a lot of the items that my footage didn't save, so I'm sorry. But it was only a small section, so let's move on to what I did record. But later on, I got the Soul Gem, Lookatron Wheel, and a hat. Later after the elemental zone, I got a chest on a ship. Then after, I did a couple more runs with my speed run and getting the enemy count high, leaving us at 100%. We're told we have to destroy Chaos's big drill that's looking for the big robot city, so we had the drill X's big rig. A little into the level, we find the chest hidden behind a locked gate. Not long after, did we come across an elemental gate, granting us a hat. After exiting, we come across a feat of strength, which gives us another chest. A little later on, another gate shows up, holding a hat for us. And after killing some monsters, we head back up to see a secret gate opened with a Lookatron wheel inside of it. Later on, as we're scaling the level, we come across a point where a giant can leap off, giving us another chest. Lastly, we come across both a story scroll and a legendary treasure. 
then facing the level's boss. And before getting into everything else, let's just appreciate the heat that Drillax drops. <laughs> for anything else to say I, I feel like i just have to give this a 10 yeah i'm just really like devastated and just left with nothing else to do i'm cornered i'm cornered here and it's just like now then we actually missed a bit so let's get back into it starting the level i see a cheeky little arrow behind me immediately giving us the winged sapphire and after halfway through, I find the soul gem, with the last chest being in the room next to it. So after one more speed run, we're done with Drill X, but he will always live in our hearts. Now we need answers from an oracle, so in search for an oracle, we head to Mulkin Mountain. Right off the bat, I look around, only to see a path that leads down to a story scroll. Moving through the level, I complete this puzzle only to unlock a secret Lokodron wheel. And after that, we come across a chest hidden behind a feat of strength. And above that, we find a cliff to jump off, leading us to a chest, which is then followed by a different chest soon after. Later on, we find a gate. Going in rewards us with a hat. And not long after that, we encounter a winged sapphire inside a gate and then a legendary treasure. Headed inside a cave, we find a gate that contains a chest and a hat, soon after getting a soul gem. Now, this leaves us at 100% completed, so after that, I do a little speed run, and that's all good. After meeting the Mulkin who knew where the Oracle was, we head in to meet the Oracle and his... interesting self. This one is interesting because there's two gates that can change depending on where you go and what order it's in. It's hard to explain, so we're more or less going to ignore it for your viewing pleasure. But just know, this one took me a lot longer than every other stage. First up was a story scroll, then a chest soon after. Next we found a hat, jumping down to finish the level. This was the start of a handful of reruns, so I'll put it all together quickly. A winged sapphire here, a soul gem here, a chest here, a hat there, a Lucatron wheel down there, another chest somewhere, and a chest in this place. Trust me, I got confused on where the hell everything was and trying to keep track of it when watching, so I just think it's best that we speedrun over this entire level. And speaking of speedruns, after I did a little speedrun, I was finally finished with this level. After the Oracle told us where the big robot town was, we head there starting Auto Gyro Adventure. We hop into a ship with the voluptuous Captain Flynn. We'll be flying to different sections in this ship, so let's start off. We land at an elemental gate, getting a chest and a hat. Now getting a legendary treasure in a different platform. Then soon after, finding an elemental platform with a hat behind it. A little later we come across another chest, then finding a story scroll and a chest. Not long after encountering the worst soul gem in the game, and we find the Lookatron wheel on a different platform. After landing in a larger area, we find a chest, and then a winged sapphire, which then brings us to the end of the level. I managed to get everything but the speedrun on my first try, so after a quick run through, we're 100% completed. After riding the plane here, we arrived in the lost city of Arcus, the big robot town home. Immediately, we found hats hidden behind the gate. Moving along, we find a soul gem. After fighting some zombies, I enter a gate and found a chest. And just moments after leaving, I found the legendary treasure. Following the elemental gate theme, I enter a fire gate and get a chest. The winged sapphire and the hat. Finishing with two items missing. After getting the missing chest and the missing Lucatron wheel, I went back in for a speed run, leaving it at 100% completed. Now moving on to the next and final chapter, bringing order to chaos. Immediately after starting, I see a hidden entrance and a drop down point, getting us a winged sapphire. Heading a bit deeper into the stage, we find a soul gem with a gate containing a hat. Just moments later, we obtain a legendary treasure, and right after that happened, we found a gate, bringing us a chest and a hat. Later on, I played the most peak game in existence, rewarding me with a Lucatron wheel. 
and after heading through the level more, we come across a story scroll, a chest, leaving us at the final boss of the game. I would also like to mention that this game has three bosses only, yet they're the most lovable and fun to play bosses in Skylanders history, so that's funny. And it wouldn't be the last level if I didn't finish it with everything but a single item found. So after getting the chest and the speedrun, I officially had 100%ed every level in Skylanders Giants. Now, my file does say 100%, but in this time, there was a couple things I kind of failed to get. First, Sky Stones, the most peak game period. I was grinding to get these when my timer ran out, and I kid you not, I was at 75 out of 80 when my timer ran. I couldn't figure out how to get the last 5, man, I was struggling. Another thing was hats. I got all the hats that are in the base game of Giants, but there are hats that you can get from the SSA level packs which I don't have. But every hat that can be got in Giants normally was got. But what about the items I fully got? I got all 64 chests, all 16 winged sapphires, all 16 story scrolls, all 16 soul gems, all 16 Lucatron wheels, all 16 legendary treasures, and all 81 hats, bringing us to a total of 225 collectibles found. And if we wanted to add the 75 sky stones and 8 charms, then our total comes up to 308 collectibles found throughout this journey. And for someone who looked at zero guides and went off instinct and memory alone, that ain't half bad. So Say you came prepared for this unlike me, you could definitely get anything I missed. This game is a favourite of mine, and now knowing all these locations permanently written into my mind is useless. But with that all said and done, I've officially, sort of, 100% the Skylander Giants in 24 hours. Thanks for watching.